Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I've been hearing about this uh, good fishing place. I thought I'd tell you about it. I went out there. Boy, it was really something to see. Uh, this place is called uh, Rum Island, and uh, what it is is the river uh, twists and turns and crooks and this and that and the other, and it comes on down to this little old Rum Island. And it goes around on the left side, and it goes around on the right side, and it joins back up on the bottom side of it. And uh, I heard about it, and I thought, well, I'd like to go on out there and see what the fishing's like and canoeing's like out there. So uh, 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 what this commentary is going to be about is on the bottom side of the island, of Rum Island. And uh, so uh, I load up uh, early in the morning. Well, actually, I loaded up the night, the night before. And I, I head out before dark, before daylight, and it was still dark out. And uh, so I head out over there to Old Rum Island. And uh, so I pull in there, and uh, excuse me, I'm not picking my nose, I'm just scratching. Uh, and uh, sure enough, I pull in there, and there's nobody there. Well, that's the way I like it. Because uh, a little later in the day, this is a college town, and you know, college kids come out there hooping and hollering and splashing and you can't get no fishing in whenever they get up, but they don't get up till about two o'clock in the afternoon. So I was pretty good to get a you know good morning fishing in and everything. So I pull on in there uh, up to the boat ramp, and I hear this uh, well, a lot of commotion, the splashing, and uh, all kind of uh, commotion in the water. And of course, it's still a little bit dark, so I got my flashlight out. And I run over there to the boat ramp, and you can see the uh, end of the island there. And uh, the water was churning, and the fish were jumping up and down. I mean, I ain't seen so many fish in all my life. And they were jumping all over the place. Some of them was even jumping up and flopping around on the banks. And uh, I could not believe all the fish I was seeing. And so I run back to the car. And as uh, quick as I could, and I can't run real fast now because I'm in the 70s, but I run back there as quick as I could. I started unlashing that canoe, trying to get it off the car, get my, my poles and everything like that, and get back down there. And, and uh, I hear this uh, commotion and all these blue and white lights are flashing and everything. And I oh, what in the heck is going on now? And I look back down there at, at the at the island and uh, there was a boat coming from uh, upstream and a boat coming from a downstream and uh, and there was cars and trucks on the land <coughs> pulling up to the boat ramp with big old trucks with uh, uh, big old things in the back and uh, it was the game wardens and it was everywhere it was flashing lights and they started to scooping up these fish before I could catch any of them and I so, Dead gummy, man. This is the best opportunity I ever did see. And here comes the game warden, and they was scooping them up, and they was putting them in a holding tank in the trucks, and uh, and so, I, I, pretty soon I, I looked up, and there was a, a lady come walking down there, and uh, I said, you know what's going on? And she said, yeah, I live right over there. She lived on the bank of the river. She said this happens all the time. She said. Uh, that's uh, the fish get to drinking too much, and then they, uh, they get all messed up, and uh, the game wardens have to come and take them and put them in the holding tank till they sober up in the next morning. She said they get so drunk. She said uh, the young uh, brim. She said they pull off all their scales and start a flash in their fins, and she said I saw one of them uh, big old fat basses. And he was flopping all over the bank, and if uh, his, uh, some of his friends hadn't uh, pulled him back in the water, he'd have drowned. And uh, you think about it now. And so uh, I said, well, I'll be dead gum. I wanted to catch some of them fish. She said, well, they're going to put them back in there later uh, after a 24-hour period whenever they get uh, sobered up at Rum Island. And uh, <clears throat> so... Uh, I said, well, daggum, that's the doggonest thing I ever seen. And she went on back home. I went down there to talk to one of the game wardens. And I said, uh, 
What do you attribute to this uh, phenomenon of all these fish are getting drunk like that? He said, well, it's a simple thing. He said, uh, uh, there's nobody there to uh, keep them from drinking too much. And uh, he said that they need to have some designated swimmers to take them back on home. And uh, then we wouldn't have to keep coming down here. He said, uh, last uh, month, he said, I went up to the Blue Springs uh, waterfall. And he said, they were so drunk up there. Uh, they was jumping off and hitting the rocks down there and killing themselves. It was a, a, a terrible thing you ever did see. He said, uh, they're just young college fish. They don't know no better. They school around together and they get all silly. And uh, that's what they do. And uh, we're trying to save them is what we're trying to do. So anyway, so I, I uh, watched them load up the fish and they took them on down there and uh, by that time it was daylight and the sun was coming up and I said, well, I might as well go and put the boat in. And I went on and went down the river and had me a wonderful day and coasting down the river and it was just a, a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, uh, the water smelled a little um, funny, but after I got on away from the island, it kind of it, it cleared up. It was all right. So that's my story about Rome Island. I thought maybe you'd enjoy hearing it. So that's it for today. Jim Bob's out.